Peregrine for here with a quick video, uh, just displaying a concept that I've been uh, messing around with for a few hours at this point, um, and that is the concept of a hover bike or some similar such thing. Um, now, uh, last week's update on the 15th of September uh, on the dev version gave uh, programmable blocks and therefore our lovely scripting community access to uh, a ship's altitude and a day or two ago uh, Rastafun36 put on the workshop a hover script that pretty much just maintains uh, a given altitude and so I just had to make some sort of hovercraft so Without further ado, I'll go ahead and hop in it. If you hop in, you turn the reactors on, you make sure these guys compile correctly, alright, and we start hovering. Now this uses three scripts, uh, the first one being the hover script, which is absolutely necessary, obviously. Uh, as I said, this was made by Rastafun36. The alignment driver. Uh, this uses a uh, gyro override to just make sure you are more or less level with the ground. Uh, I think it's got a 10 degree buffer on roll and a 15 degree buffer on uh, pitch. Uh, this one isn't necessary, but I think it adds to it personally, although sometimes it can lead to some kind of funky movement. Uh, and lastly, uh, Whiplash's uh, Artificial Horizon script, script, which is just absolutely great. This doesn't really add any functionality, but it does give us this nice display, which I think is helpful if you want to play HUDless in particular. Uh, but you, what you do is you hop in here, you turn the reactors on, and you grab control of the remote. Uh, currently I have this thing set for an altitude of 3, but the version I put up on the workshop is probably going to hover at around 7. Uh, just because it's able to, the higher the number is, the more stuff it can climb over easily. Um, I just think 3 looks cooler, even if it's less practical. Um, but obviously, you know, if you make some of our craft, you can play with that as you like. Um, so you'll notice we just took a bit of a hop of a jump and now we are, our altitude's too high, but the hover script is slowly going to lower us back down to the set altitude. Um, now, I have this thing loaded up with scatter cannons, mostly because I like scatter cannons, I think they're really cool. And for this particular craft, I just had to have them. But obviously, this could be outfitted with Gatlings or rocket pods or whatever you want, really. Um, I wouldn't do too powerful. Like, I wouldn't do like some of like the large caliber cannons with a ton of recoil. Uh, because this thing doesn't really weigh all that much. May not be a great idea to provide more recoil than sort of the frame of this can handle, um, but you can see that this thing is really just eating up the terrain, I mean it's moving very quick. Uh, very smooth, and it's doing it in such a way that traditional land vehicles just can't do. I mean, turbo sleds can perform similarly, but I've never really been too big of a fan of turbo sleds. I don't really have a reason. Just uh, A part of me likes having things that sort of, you know, make sense in my head, and turbo sleds just don't fit that. But... This thing's really intended to be some sort of, you know, light attack craft um, to sort of outmaneuver other land vehicles and 
ambush players or characters. Now what you're seeing now is the uh, gravity alignment script taking effect. So it's definitely not perfect. And could be turned off if you really wanted it to. Um, but the real point of this is just seeing how well it handles the terrain. Oops, hit a tree. And without me hitting anything, the alignment script put us back where we need to be. thruster to toggle on and off. So if you hit that, then you're just going to glide in the direction that is forward. I'm trying to work my way to the ground. It'll lower itself, but it does take a while. So hitting two really just lets you maintain your forward uh, momentum without having to turn your dampeners off. So took a bit of a bump there. Well. Our breaking thruster. Cool. Alright. Pitch up just a little bit. And around five meters, you can just turn the reactor off. So, this is my hover bike. It's really just a concept that I thought was neat. I want to share with you guys. Uh, so, what do you think?